carbon and oxygen cycles are independent but closely related. How? When we inhale, we take in oxygen. When we exhale, we release carbon dioxide. Carbon, as carbon dioxide, is taken up from the atmosphere and incorporated into the tissues of plants in photosynthesis. It may then pass into the bodies of animals as the plants are eaten. During the respiration of plants, animals, and organisms that bring about decomposition, carbon dioxide is returned to the atmosphere. In the process of respiration, oxygen is taken by living organisms and released into the atmosphere, combined with carbon in the form of carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide enters the carbon cycle or is taken out by plants for photosynthesis. During photosynthesis, oxygen is created by the chemical splitting of water and returning to the atmosphere. Deforestation and the burning of fossil fuels give off carbon dioxide to the atmosphere. <laughs> Deforestation affects the cycle by eliminating plants that absorb carbon dioxide during photosynthesis. Once the trees are cut down, they are often burned, releasing carbon dioxide to the atmosphere. Burning trees after deforestation accounts for 20% of the carbon dioxide added to the atmosphere by human actions. The burning of fossil fuels accounts for the remaining 80%. This increased concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere may cause global climate change with potentially <laughs> great repercussions for all living organisms, especially humans. The greenhouse effect is the process in which greenhouse gases in the atmosphere trap heat from the sun and keep Earth warm. The greenhouse effect is vital for living things on Earth, but too many gases in the atmosphere could make our planet's temperatures rise too high. Here's a video that explains the greenhouse effect. and global warming are some of the effects caused by deforestation. Recycling reduces the need for raw materials so that the rainforest can be preserved. Good. <laughs> also, harmful chemicals and greenhouse gases are released from waste in landfill sites. Recycling helps in reducing the pollution caused by waste. 